This video shows how to correctly perform glow discharge of the electron microscopy grids for the Mini-TEM system using a grid glow discharge unit equipped with an oil pump. Using the supplied tweezers, pick up the grid by the edge, avoiding the mesh area. Place grids onto the metal support. Standard grids have two different sides, the copper side and the darker carbon support where the sample is placed. Be sure the carbon side of the grid is facing up. Turn on the glow discharge unit. Remove the glass lid of the glow discharge unit. Place it on a clean surface to avoid dust contamination. Place the metal support between the two electrodes and replace the glass lid. Making sure it is centered and well sealed Check that the screen shows the following text. If not, consult the manual. Run the automatic program by pressing Auto Run on the touch screen. The pump will make a loud noise. When the chamber pressure is achieved, a purple light should be visible inside the chamber. After the glow discharge process is finished, wait another 20 seconds until the chamber is vented and it has reached atmospheric pressure. Check that the screen has ATM as the top value and the preselected value on the bottom. Once you check this on the screen, you can open the glass lid, remove the grid metal support, and place back the lid. The grids are now hydrophilized and can be used for specimen preparation. Ideally, the grids should be used within 30 minutes after the glow discharging. Remember to turn off the system. This concludes Sample Preparation Part 1, Grid Glow Discharge. The next step in sample preparation is negative staining.